For years, Chromebook consumers have had to choose between performance and build quality. If you've been patiently waiting for a Chromebook that meets in the middle, one that offers high quality build materials with a quad core Intel processor and a full HD IPS display, then you need to take a look at the $300 Acer Chromebook 14. Acer's Chromebook 14 doesn't look like most Chromebooks. It substitutes aluminum for the usual plastics, and Acer's normal box-like design is gone, replaced with a MacBook Air-inspired wedge. This is a Chromebook that doesn't look out of place in a business setting, a classroom, or a coffee shop. It packs a 1080p IPS display, which isn't as bright as the Toshiba Chromebook 2, but is still Acer's best Chromebook display with excellent viewing angles. There is a night and day difference between this display and the 1080p TN panel on Acer's Chromebook 13. The Acer Chromebook 14 comes with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of local storage, meaning that it can power through a dozen tabs without running out of memory, and it offers about 28 gigs of free storage space for local files and applications, or for installing Crouton. It also has two USB 3.0 ports, a rarity for Chromebooks, HDMI out for external display, as well as high-speed 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. All these features are paired with an Intel N3160 Celeron, a current generation fanless Intel quad-core processor with improved Intel HD graphics and excellent power management. This processor offers performance that exceeds the older Baytrail and ARM-based processors while still offering a solid 9 to 10 hours of use on a single battery charge. At $300 US, this sounds like a great value, and truthfully, it is. I can't think of a single laptop, PC, Mac, or Chromebook that comes close to this combination of features at such a low price. That said, there are areas where the Chromebook 14 falls a little bit short. The Acer Chromebook 14 does not have an SD card slot, which is unusual. I can't think of any other Chromebook without an SD or micro SD card slot. It isn't available with a touchscreen, which may be a key missing feature once Android apps are available on Chromebooks. Its keyboard is decent, but not backlit, a feature which is available on the similarly priced Toshiba Chromebook 2 2015. It also has down-firing speakers, unlike the up-firing speakers on the Toshiba or on Acer's own Chromebook 15. The Acer 14 has eMMC flash storage instead of an M.2 42mm SSD, such as can be found on the Toshiba, Dell, and other Chromebooks. While 32 gigs of storage is great, you'll never be able to expand on that, which makes the absence of an SD card slot even a little bit more painful. It's worth noting that while the performance of the Intel 3160 is decent and better than the ARM processors or older Intel Baytrail devices, it still lags behind older Haswell Chromebooks, even 2013 C720 or HP's early 2014 Chromebook 14. The gap between this device and the more recent Dell Chromebook 13 or Toshiba 2 2015 is even more pronounced. Ultimately, for most potential consumers, none of these issues are going to be deal-breaking. Unlike the Toshiba, the Acer is fanless and silent with superior battery life and much, much better build quality. The Acer Chromebook 14 looks good, performs well enough, better than PCs in the $300 range for sure, and will only be an even better value when it gains Android app support later in 2016. If you absolutely must have the best performance for your money, the Toshiba Chromebook 2 may still be the right choice for you, but for the majority of consumers, the balance between build quality, performance, and price that Acer hits here with the Chromebook 14 puts it at the top of the Chromebook world as of spring 2016. Voltron 00X reviewing the Acer Chromebook 14. This Chromebook was purchased with my own funds and no one has provided compensation or approval for this review. For a full written review, check out my website, Voltron00x.com. For more Chromebook content, including a comparison of the Asus Flip and the Acer R11, and coverage on Android apps on Chromebooks, please subscribe and check back soon. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.